I'm sure by now you have heard countless times. Don't click on this. Don't click on that. Don't click on this. Don't click on that. Or you will become the victim of a cyber attack. Well, is it possible for you to be a victim of a cyber attack even if you don't click on anything? Yes, absolutely. So let's explore the threat of zero click vulnerabilities. Picture this, folks. If you know my phone number or my email address, you could remotely compromise my smartphone and possibly pull everything off of it without me having to do anything for you to be successful. In addition, your attack would more than likely go undetected for a period of time. So essentially, you're pulling off an old-fashioned smash-and-grab job on my phone. So the main premise behind a zero-click attack is to do what? It's to steal information from the user system. It's to record what is happening on that user's system. Sounds like the multitude of other attacks that exist. Yeah, but the difference is what? The difference is that with a zero click, the victim, you don't have to click or do anything for the attack to be successful. So let's be clear. This is a very sophisticated type of attack that is carefully crafted to exploit some existing flaw in the device. It could be a flaw in the OS. It could be a flaw in an application. But once that flaw is exposed, your data that's in your downloads folder, your text messages, your email messages, conversations you're having, they can all be successfully stolen from your device by the cyber criminals. But again, sophisticated type of attack based on some existing flaw or vulnerability in your device. What does that mean? If your device is patched, you're going to be okay. Our first real exposure to zero click is spyware known as Pegasus, which was developed, marketed, and licensed to governments all over the world by an Israeli company known as the NSO Group. And Pegasus has the ability to infect Android devices as well as Apple iOS devices. It is spyware designed to spy on those cell phones. Originally, it circulated as a phishing campaign where you had to click a link in a message or an email. But NSO was able to evolve it into a zero-click spyware, which installs on your device without you having to do anything at all. For example, simply receiving an iMessage from the hackers can begin the process of them being able to gain access to your system and steal your data, your text, your emails, record your conversations. But remember, it's only successful if the system has the flaw and vulnerability that is necessary for it to work. So don't lose sleep over this tonight, folks. I'm not here to scare you. I'm here to try to make you aware of this type of attack and the importance of patching your systems. And no one is safe from this, okay? No one is. It does not matter how big or small your organization. It doesn't matter how important or unimportant you are. And no amount of education can protect you from this. 
The best you can do at the moment, folks, is to simply make it tougher for the hackers to exploit you. And how are you going to do that? Keep your systems up to date. Don't delay when an update is available. If there's a flaw in your system that can be exploited by zero click, you want to protect yourself from it, and you're going to protect yourself by patching your systems as early as you possibly can.